name is Dr. Beverly Yin Thompson, and I'm an Associate Professor of Sociology at Siena College. I got my PhD in Sociology from the New School for Social Research, as it was called at the time, in New York City. To describe my research, I'm a sociologist and I use ethnographic or qualitative research methods, which means being in the field, observing people, interviewing people, um, using my camera in the field to take lots of pictures of people behaving as they do in their natural environment, in their subcultures, in their institutions. As a qualitative researcher, that means I really talk to the people that are related to the subject matter that I research. So um, a lot of my research focuses on subcultures, especially kind of deviant subcultures that are stigmatized in some way, and these really fit with the class I teach on deviant behavior. So you are enrolled in the Sociology of Deviant Behavior class 260, and this is a required class for criminal justice minors, so a lot of students in this class um, will be minoring in that field. I have a different approach to the Sociology of Deviant Behavior course. A lot of times it is taught as a criminal justice class, but I specifically teach it as a subculture class because my research interests are in subcultures. You know, we start out with the author Howard Becker, who has this concept of labeling theory. So he's saying that deviant behavior is not something out there in the world that people do and that is forced upon them in some ways, but that deviant behavior is labeled by a particular group of people that have power in society. And they have that power to label another group deviant and then they have enough power in society to enforce that stigmatization of that particular group. So that's how we really want to understand deviant behavior, is that one group of power has labeled another group deviant, and they've created this story about how this particular stigma of this group is a threat to society, and that it needs to be contained. And so therefore we study concepts such as moral panics, and um, just the rule of law in enforcing that kind of um, deviance and punishment against a particular group. So I just wanted to talk about our major assignments in the class as well. As an online class, there's a variety of assignments and assessment tools that will be used throughout the semester. These include exams, um, multiple choice, questions based on the readings and the documentary movies so that uh, it just tests if you've read the material and if you've understood it. There's also some discussion board posts where you'll talk about your own understanding of the reading and um, relate it to another example that you might bring in. And this also gives you a chance to speak to your classmates as well on the discussion board read what they're reading, respond to their uh, responses as well. Well, since this is an online class, I would like students to gain some skills that are on the online environment. So for two of the assignments, you'll actually create your own WordPress.com websites. And so I want the students to just be able to learn how to um, create online content since this is an online class. And also just have the um, demonstrate the ability of public writing. So you create a website where um, you know you're writing in an academic and yet personable way. You um, pay attention to layout and design of the website. You use academic sources properly, and you use more of an academic orientation to the topic at hand, even when you're talking about yourself. So the two main WordPress assignments, the first one is the sociological autobiography. So I like students to be able to position themselves, we call it social location. So that means placing you in context of, for example, your demographic attributes, um, you know, your geographic location, the things that go up um, to, to make you who you are as an individual, but also kind of limit you as far as um, these particular categories and how these categories are shaped by society and then how you either conform or don't conform to those categories. And also it's important for us to just understand ourselves as they relate to demographic categories and how large or small or what are the sociological issues related to that category so that we can understand our, our own selves, our own lives, and our lives within society a lot more. 
So I ask students to use a lot of statistics in their sociological autobiography. If you're Irish American, what percentage of Americans are Irish American? If you were raised in a rural environment, what percentage of Americans are raised in a rural environment? If you're an immigrant or a child of immigrants, what percentage of our society is uh, within that category? And so on. So this assignment invites you to really place yourself in a sociological context, apply sociological theories to your own life, and also be able to write about it in a very um, personable but academic tone, use academic sources, and then finally make sure that the layout of the website is, looks good with embedded videos, embedded pictures, hyperlinks, and so on since it is a website and not a research paper. The final assignment in our online course is also a WordPress website, and this one is based on the concluding research where you take all the sociological concepts and materials that we've studied all semester and you apply them to your own case in point. So you might choose um, an example of the topics that we've covered all semester and find some other academic literature, journal articles, books, and so on on this topic and then design a website just like your sociological autobiography at the beginning of the semester. Now this is your second a WordPress blog post and so you should have the hang of um, how to organize the website, insert the hyperlinks, insert the pictures and video, make it really look professionally done uh, and then this can also fit into your um, work as a, your student portfolio work that you can upload on the Siena website.